Hello, Hi. my YouTube friend. I'm here today with the cool kid. Yeah. We just started our garage sale hunting season the, the last week or so, right? We've been doing a couple sales and whatnot. Yeah. 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 So we're, it's been kind of hot, so there's not as many sales on the weekend. But as we go into August, I think we're going to be doing some treasure hunt adventures. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. So what have you been doing this summer to make some money? Like selling some toys and papas. So what the cool kid's been doing is he's been going through his toys and finding stuff that he doesn't really want to play with anymore and selling them in our store. How's that going? Yeah. Oh, come to Papa's. Okay. <laughs> he's got stuff for sale at Papa's and he would be happy to sell it to you. <laughs> yeah. So, and he's made probably 50 to 100 bucks. That's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. So he's been buying stuff for every couple of days as he makes money. He's been buying. Well, you've been buying a lot this summer. Like Lego sets. I ordered, like, the last thing I ordered something with my money was the 16th. On the 16th? So you order a couple days. So we've been doing some orders online and we you bought some stuff from Papa's. He gets a yeah, family discount. Yeah. And we've been, he's been doing pretty good selling stuff. Do you like selling stuff? Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, is it rewarding getting rid of some of the stuff you don't play with and getting something you really yeah. want to play with? All right. Well, guess what? I have a surprise for you. Yeah. You ready for your surprise? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? No. Make a guess. Legos? Your package came in. <gasps> so, we got your package. <laughs> yeah. You excited? Yeah. So where do we order from? Bricklink. Yeah, Bricklink's a great website for buying individual Legos. Oh, and just Lego minifigures. Yeah, Lego minifigures. So well, we have two in this bag. Okay, you too excited well, for this? Yeah, I'm going to be. All right, let's, let's see what we got in here. All right, you pull them out. Hopefully they're in good shape. Who did you get? Oh, Captain America and the... Like... He got uh He gave you a thank you card. Yeah, oh, Scarlet Spider and Captain America from the first Avenger. So That's wait, which two Sil are these? This is from the Silver War and the Age of Ultron. Okay, wait, so we got the Age of Ultron, Silver War, Captain America. Cool Kid's gonna put that together. Yeah, right? and that's from a giant Ultimate Spider-Man. So there's this big giant website. Is that the bridge set? Yeah. It's a big bridge set. It's like a $150 set, but you just wanted the Scarlet Spider figure. So we got these for like $4 and $3, I think, right? Was this one three and this one was four? I, I don't forget. remember. I remember. It was like eight dollars total of shipping. So he's gonna put those two minifigures together. He's really excited. So uh, let's see. A couple days ago, we decided I was kind of tired. If you watched my last video, I told you the story about uh, the Simpsons figure. So I was kind of worn out for a couple days and kind of bummed out. So I decided just to go to a junk store with a cool kid, just to do something fun, right? When we go to a junk store, that's pretty fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, we love going our treasure hunting. So we went into the junk store and there was a Pac-Man keychain that the cool kid really wanted that he saw the week before. But I told him he had to wait a week until he had some money. So he had, how much, would you have, $10 from your stuff you sold? I don't remember. Well, he had $10 or $15 from the stuff he sold. So he was excited to spend some of his own money treasure hunting. And uh, we went in the junk store. He immediately walked really quick to the bin. He got the Pac-Man keychain and the lady behind the counter, she said, let me hold that for you, right? Was that how she said it? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, he's a kid. I can understand. She, I guess she's afraid he's going to steal it or something. So I said, okay, you can hold down the counter. And then we went to the, they have a 99 cent toy bin. Oh, these are cool. You want to show them? Yeah. Let's show them. We got Scarlet Spider and Captain America. Yeah, well, he's missing his shield, so not. All right, we'll have to find you a shield then. Yeah, for this guy. Okay, we'll find a shield for him. So we decided to dig through the dollar toy bin and uh, it was packed. It had a lot of new stuff in it, so we we're excited, right? Were you just yeah. excited to dig through the new bin? So we we're digging, 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 and he found the Tasmanian Devil figure with the Flash costume, right? You know the Tasmanian Devil? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I found a, a Fisher-Price little person, and then there's a couple of teeny, real minifigures. So I went to the lady, I asked her, I said, would you do 50 cents each on the two minifigures? And she's like, no! I was like, okay, fine, I, I don't need to buy those. So I put those back in the bin, and then we started walking off into the store to see other stuff they had for sale. And like five minutes later, she's like, sir, sir, excuse me, sir, put those on the counter. I'm like, what? Like, she basically was accusing of us, us of, of stealing. Right? How did that make you feel? Oh. I, I didn't like it. Did you like it? No. No, we didn't like it. I was upset. So I was like, fine. You, I, and I told her, I was like, you know what? I don't want them. I just put them back in the bin and we left. Cool kid was a little bit upset that he didn't get the Tasmanian Devil though, right? You're a little bit upset about it? No, it was the Pac-Man keychain. Oh, the Pac-Man keychain you're upset about? Yeah. Yeah, but the lady was really rude and I just didn't want to give her money. Did you want to give her your money? Oh. 
What was your true true answer? Were you a little bit upset at her? Or? Yeah, I was a little upset. Yeah, I was a little upset. So we were bummed out a little bit, but we decided not to give her money. It's not worth giving money to someone who's a jerk, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially he was he's working hard selling his toys. All right, if you're working hard for your money, you deserve to spend it, and you deserve the respect of a customer, and not their cues of someone stealing. So I really didn't like that. So we were kind of like ah, agitated. I was agitated. I think he wasn't as agitated. But we went back to my shop and uh, we were playing a little bit. And then my friend Jim came, right? My yeah. Yeah. And he, I see Jim maybe once a month. He has a car. So I was like, Jim, can we go to the junk store? He's like, sure. So did we go to the junk store? Yeah. Yeah, we tried a new junk store, one that's like farther into Brooklyn. And uh, we didn't know what to expect. I just heard that they sometimes have toys, they sometimes have comic books, and sometimes have stuff. So we got to the junk store. Yeah. And it was packed. How packed was it? Yeah, super packed. Was it like wall to wall, floor to ceiling, furniture and stuff? Yeah, like so much furniture. And then I just found the best day of my life there. Yeah, he was walking in and well, she said we were walking in. We're like, all right, let's find some cool stuff for you. And she said, you know, stuff for him's in the back around the corner. Yeah, and it was like the best day of my life. <laughs> yeah, he was so excited. <laughs> so we went there and she literally had 10, maybe 10, how many trays? I don't remember. It was like 10 maybe? Yeah. I think it was 10. So it was 10 trays full of Legos. Yeah, so many Legos. So I, he was freaking out. He's like, oh my gosh, Legos. So I was like, all right, let me go ask her how much the Legos are first. Because I didn't know, you know, some the last junk store we went to, the lady charges a dollar each for little teeny mini figures. Like four, if she had Lego figures, she'd probably charge $10. It's ridiculous pricing. And I just wasn't, this is the first time we were at the junk store. So I didn't know. So I grabbed the Yoda. And it went up to the front. The cool kid was digging, right? You were digging out. Yeah. yeah. He couldn't stop digging. He couldn't help himself. And I asked her, I said, how much are you selling the Lego minifigures for? And she's like, well, there's a bunch of Legos back there, uh, like two for a dollar. So I was like, okay. And, and then I said, how much do you want for each tray? And she's like, well, I have to kind of see. I was like, well, what if I just make like a whole pile of them? And we can work out a price. And she said, yeah, that's fine. And she got us a bag and we just started digging through the bins like crazy, right? Yeah. So we, we filled up the bag with every minifigure we could find with like big plates like this uh the cool any cool windows right all the cool parts yeah. that we wanted to play with and we were having a blast and then my friend jim he didn't really find anything he wanted but he started digging through the regular toys and pulling yeah. out stuff for us and we're like yeah we want that we want that so let's show you guys everything we got you ready to show them everything we got yeah hey, cool kid do you want to show them your two lego figures you got yeah so he got the Scarlet Spider. Those are this is my favorite figure of all. Of them. Oh yeah, I think he was That's four, nice. and he might have been like two or three. And so I was, don't remember. So. I don't either, but I think total for the both of them, we paid about eight dollars. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. You can play with that. So we we filled up one bag full of Lego stuff. We filled up one bag full of toys, and we yeah. brought them to the lady. And so she looked at him, and I didn't. I really didn't know what I had. I wasn't really thinking about it. I didn't know how much it was going to be. I thought it would be really cheap. She hit me with a number that sounded higher than I thought it would be. She said $65. So my first reaction was like, whoa, that's a little bit too much. But I came back. I was like, you know, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of minifigures. I said, how about 50 bucks? She said, yeah, make it 55 And I said, all right, cool. And then when I got home, I realized that was a really good price. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you what I got, and the cool kid's going to show you what he got. Now, the cool kid's been playing with all the stuff since uh, we got home, so it's all jumbled up. <laughs> so the first thing is my SpongeBob minifigure. So you got a SpongeBob minifigure. That guy is super cool. And the thing is, if well, we bought that on BrickLink, it would be like three or four yeah. bucks. He paid 50 cents for that. Yeah, 50 cents. Yeah. Okay, I bought a Jeep. It's in pretty good shape. The uh, trunk moves up. I estimated I paid two or three dollars for that, so that's a great price for that. And next, I got an Iron Man Mega Box figure. So he's really cool. A cool kid paid fifty cents for the Iron Man. That is super awesome. He was selling his toys for like two, three, four dollars and buying them for super cheap, so that's awesome. I bought a uh, Figment Dragon from Epcot Center, nineteen eighty-two. He's a little bit faded, a little bit dirty. I think he goes for like twenty or thirty dollars on eBay, so I was really happy. I paid probably like a dollar or two for him. And next, I got a uh, like Vacation SpongeBob. I got him Vacation. SpongeBob. These are cool. The cool kid was so. How excited were you when you saw these? Like so amazed. He's so amazed because he loves Spongebob. I bought a... What do you call these things again? Oh, I don't forget. Play School Heroes? Yeah, Play School Heroes. Alright, I bought a Play School Heroes X-Wing Fighter. I paid 2 or $3 for that. 
That was oh, cool. Oh, the hatch can open also. The cool kid will probably end up playing with that more than I, I will. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, let's mm. let's go through some of the Legos. So we bought a whole bunch of the big Lego boards, medium next, size. Oh, uh, next I got Vacation Squidward. Oh, the Vacation Squidward. That is cool. I'm happy with all these SpongeBob figures. You probably wouldn't want those eventually, but we got them for so cheap. I got a Star Wars fighter. This is a action fleet, so you put the mini figure in here. Uh, let me see if I can open that. I have no mini figure, but I love action fleets. Anytime I can collect them cheap, I'll pick them up. I pay like a dollar or two for that. And next, I got Mrs. Puff. Look at this. He got so many SpongeBob mini figures. That is so cool. I bought this one's a bit dirty, so I have to clean it. But I bought a, a Linus Avon bottle. It's shampoo or, or bath bubble bath, I think. It still has some of the bubbles in there, so I might just end up dumping that out. Not 100% sure, but I love that. I love vintage 1970s and 60s Snoopy stuff. Next, I got Super Patrick, but we're missing the cape. Yeah, we need to find a cape for the him. The green cape, the green cape. He yeah, he has a green cape, green. but still, I mean, for 50 cents, right? That's yeah. pretty awesome. I bought, uh, oh, this is really cool. I bought a, I believe it's a Flipbot. Yeah, Flipbot from Tommy. It's from the 80s. He goes for like 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. He's in good shape. Ah. Uh, I really love that. I paid like a dollar or two for that. So that's actually really awesome. And we have a piece for Super SpongeBob. We're missing his cape body and legs. We got a whole bunch more Lego plates. I'll buy cheap Lego plates. I don't even know what we paid. Because when I calculated how much I paid for my toys, I figured it was about $45, maybe $40. So the cool kid, all his stuff, plus all the Legos that I bought was like $15 for all the Legos. And there was a lot of them. And next we got Vacation Patrick missing his head. We just need a head for him. Yeah, he figured that one out by watching YouTube. He saw so other people with the SpongeBob Legos. Yeah, with the plain Patrick, I recognize that. We and grabbed, I made that also. Yeah, the cool kid made this. I grabbed a couple of rockets, a couple of supports from uh, some of the girl play sets, I think. But I think they make really cool supports. And look. You can actually store stuff on his mask. So oh, that's, that's cool. Awesome. So you got a Ninjago guy and a cop. He's been calling, who you calling that? Uh, Agent Colson? Yeah. He's pretending that's Agent Colson. So that's really cool. We got, what we did was we grabbed all the cool Lego parts, the ones that are better for building buildings and stuff. We got uh, a roof plate, another plate, another plate, two more plates. And next I made this. It's like a cage and this is the original skull figure I made. And then I made this awesome new one. This police chief found right, it from trash. Let me see. Let me show him. So you're pretending the skeleton found the police uniform in the trash? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's already making up all kinds of stories with his Legos. Yeah. And he's pretending this is like a jail cage. And we grabbed all the windows we could find and all the doors we could find. Because he yeah. can always use windows and doors. Yeah, like this, you can fit a minifigure in there. Like the skull. More supports. You can put like the skull in there. I'm just showing you if you want to do that. More plates. More plates. So much more plates. More plates. All right, let me show you some more of the toys I got. All right, I got a 1996 Bandai figure. I think it's uh, like Beetleborg or one of those Japanese shows. This figure is amazing. It's so cool. I paid probably one to two dollars for that. I really, I don't really know the show, but the figure with all the chrome is beautiful. And next is this police officer Lego figure. That's cool. Here's the cool thing. I was going to buy a Fisher Price little person from the first store for a dollar. But instead, I picked up one, two, three, four, for probably about 50 cents a piece. That's pretty awesome. I got, I made this guy. Okay. Put him on a plate that I'm And then I bought, uh, what is this guy? 1988 Toho, like Zero Force or something like that. A really cool Japanese style battle figure with tons of articulation. I didn't know anything about these before I went to the shop, but... If I see a Japanese figure in a thrift shop went out for a dollar or two, I probably paid about two dollars for that. I thought that was such a great deal. Oh, we also got another brick remover. Yeah, you can always use brick removers. We got... Remove bricks. Let's see, I got a uh, Play School Bumblebee. See, I think there's a button right here that you push and he pops up. And that's so also cool. like, that's an awesome Bumblebee. That is really cool. I got a little car from Cars, like an old school car. I thought that was cool. Um, so much windows also. Yeah, tons of windows. I got a Rocketeer Bendy figure. He's in good shape. He's a little dirty, but he's actually in good shape. His paint doesn't look too worn. Maybe the top here looks a little chewed or beat up, but not that bad. I've seen him in much worse condition. So for like a buck. More windows also. I brought a mini Bruce Lee figure. 
I thought that was cool. 50 cents, maybe. Another brick remover. Yeah, we grabbed all the brick removers. We those, got, like, three of them. Those always come in handy. Yeah. A Batmobile. Ooh, that's awesome. I have one of those already, so... Yeah, yeah. I have one, too, so I might sell that one. That was probably about 50 cents, though. Another one of these Toho Battle Z-Force or whatever they're called figures. Uh, these are so cool. I actually want to get a bunch more of them. I really like the way they look and the articulation. They're well made. A window with a point of the ice cream on a sticker of the that ice cream. That was cool. I grabbed Scary Spice for like a dollar. I'll probably put her in the store. Spice Girl stuff always sells. She's a little dirty, so I need to clean her up. But paying like a dollar for that, super cheap. Next is this gate. I got Blink from the X-Men. I thought that was really cool. She's very dirty, though. Her paint looks good, though. So I think with a little soap and water, she'll look like new. For like a dollar, I estimated I paid for that. And then I got uh, Magic. She is very filthy, but I think her paint's okay. Although she looks like she has maybe some other paint splattered on her. Although that might just... No, yeah, I think it looks like it's splattered on her. So I'm going to try a little rubbing alcohol, see if I can clean her up. If not, I could throw her out. It's not the end of the world. I paid a dollar, so... Here's a dog Lego minifigure. That That's is cute. cool. I got a couple of micro machines. I love micro machines. I'll always pick up micro machines. I guess the made that I paid 50 cents each for those. Now a little tiny puppy that's super cute. That is super cute. I got a Hulk pendant kind of thing. He's a little dirty, but he'll clean up really well. 50 cents. Um, Captain Harlock for probably a dollar. That's cool. I love buying any anime figure, especially old school ones. A little Simpsons figure. The astronaut, I forget the astronaut's name. Um, I need to use a little magic eraser to clean that up. I'm probably gonna put him in the store though for a couple, but like three bucks maybe. We have a mini blue ranger. That is cool, I really like that. I just got one similar, but a smaller one of him. I got this, another Japanese figure, it's die cast. It's kind of filthy and beat up. I didn't realize how beat up it was. What year does it say? Made in China. I'm not sure what year he's from, but I thought he was pretty cool. And I probably paid about a dollar for him. We have another staple. Another uh, Fisher Price dog. I paid 50 cents for that. A little micro machine car, probably about 50 cents for that. And more windows. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And then here's a little mini mini figure. This is the kind of thing I was asking to pay 50 cents for in the first junk store. And she like kind of rolled her eyes at me. So, I, I figured I'd pay 50 cents at the store. That's fine. Doors. <laughs> yeah, tons of doors. Oh, and then I found a leprechaun. I love finding leprechauns. Anytime I kind of find a leprechaun, I'll buy that. And I think I paid about a dollar for that. And I bought a little space shuttle for like 50 cents. I thought it was cool looking. What's left in the box is just a whole ton of Lego stuff. So, basically, we grabbed all the Star Wars figures. There's probably like 10 of them. You know, some are just parts, not complete figures. Yoda. The Star Wars ones I'm keeping. I think the Star Wars ones are really cool. Oh, a Halo figure. I probably paid about 50 cents for that. Uh, what was that? Commander Cody without his helmet. I'll have to find a helmet. Uh, Rebel Soldier. One of the bots from the prequels. Uh, I believe that's part of a Stormtrooper. More of the Stormtroopers or the at, -At drivers. Another robot. Skeleton. A droid. Uh, Yoda's body, but without his head. Also, oh, Jack. The uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Jack. I don't think that's his head, though. I'll have to double check. And then a ton of the girl figures. I really like these. I'm going to keep them. There's More probably... windows. Yeah, tons of windows. A lot of these figures, I don't know if they're complete in the right way. But I like them a lot. I'm going to keep all these. A dolphin. Whee! Dolphin? Let me show them. It's a cute dolphin. A girl's bathroom door. Well, also a boy, so. Yeah, it's a bathroom door, another stormtrooper, another stormtrooper without, or at, at driver without his helmet. Well, curtain. Um, X-wing fighter outfit. Lots of windows. Tons of windows. TIE fighter another pilot. Another front door. Those are cool. I really like the Star Wars figures. A lot more of these girls figures. Bunch more of these. I would say probably 20 or 30 of these. Uh, five or ten of the Star Wars figures, another ten or so random figures. So we pretty much tried to grab every part. Uh, we might miss something, so we'll definitely be going back. We had fun. Paying $15 for all the Lego stuff was such a deal. But yeah, that's everything. Just a lot of more random figures and stuff. 
So, cool kid, what do you think of going to the junk store? Was it fun? Yeah, very fun. Was it like, worth waiting and saving some money and finding a really good deal? Yeah. Yeah, he's been playing with these Legos for two days now. So this is super awesome. Yeah, also these awesome figures. Yeah, I'm really happy with this junk store. We definitely will have to try to go back again because yeah. the lady was also really nice. And I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate when someone's really nice when you're trying to buy stuff. Wow, that was a ton of fun. Was that fun going through all yeah. that stuff? Yeah, man, he got so many Lego figures. I got so many Lego figures. Yeah. And the cool thing is he bought all that stuff with his own money. How much, yeah. did, how much did you spend for the uh, stuff that you got? I don't remember. He spent $7 and he got all those SpongeBob and all those other Lego figures and all the Legos. And then all the pieces are, I paid for them, but we're going to share them. We put them in our share pile. Yeah, sharing. Because we have big boxes of Legos that we call the share pile. Yeah, the share. Yeah. <laughs> so... That was a ton of fun. Did it feel nice spending your own money on yeah, a good deal? Yeah, yeah. he got a deal of so many Legos. Yeah, it was so cool. I really like all the toys I got. It was so much fun. Yeah, so much. I want to thank my patrons. Thank you. For supporting our channel. With their help, we're motivated to do more videos more often. If this is the first time watching a video and you like the cool kid in the video, let, let us know in the comments below and click the robot space to subscribe. Why not? We want to make more videos for you. And I'm going to put a couple of other mega holes on top of the cool kid's face. What? Again? <laughs> yes, again. Bye! Bye.